That's a, that's a great question because I, I do think when you look at the history of, of NASCAR broadcasters, uh, maybe not even by design, that they've been put in a little bit of a box. When I look at the years that, that Ned Jarrett was a broadcaster for NASCAR Sprint Cup Series races and his son Dale Jarrett was out there racing, it had to put him in an uncomfortable situation. Uh, I look at Rusty Wallace calling Nationwide Series races and his son Stephen Wallace. But I've got to say, 13 years of doing it, um, I don't have a favorite. I, I'm a race fan. I, at, at the end of the day, I'm a race fan. That's what you have to be, I think, to be a good broadcaster. And I just want to see a good race. Now, I've got to admit, I'll be honest, not because of them being a favorite driver, but I love feel-good stories. Coolest broadcast we've had this year was the Talladega race in the spring when two drivers with an underfunded team, David Reagan and David Gilliland, finished first and second. How can you not like that? And then I look back at the July Loudon race, Brian Vickers. And of course, there's just more bad news this weekend on Brian Vickers. And if you don't know who Brian Vickers is, uh, he's a Nationwide Series champion from about 10 or 11 years ago. He drove for Red Bull Racing. And in June of 2010, he was diagnosed with blood clots. And he was pulled out of the car immediately because he had to be put on blood thinner. He, he overcame the blood clots had no idea what he was going to be doing. He went back to work to drive for Red Bull Racing in 2011, a dismal season, and at the end of the year they closed the doors. He was out on the streets without a job. He was picked up by Michael Waltrip Racing to run a limited schedule last year and this year, and he comes back and he wins Loudon. That's one of those feel-good stories. But I've got to say, and then he was just diagnosed with blood clots in his calf this week, and he's out again for the rest of the year. But I, I, I don't have a problem. Yeah, there's a part of me that, that my son Brandon that races, uh, I want to be in that booth one day when he's racing. And, and it doesn't matter if it's, if it's an ARCA race or a cup race or what. I'd love to be up there and be a dad for a lap watching him take the checkered flag in a, in a big racing event. But I hope that I'm never put in that box. I hope whenever he gets to Sprint Cup, and I, I feel confident that he will, that maybe I've either retired or I've moved on to do something else because that has to be an uncomfortable situation for a relative. But I, I can honestly say, and I think our, our group does a good job of, of trying to be, when I say our group, I'm talking about the NASCAR on Fox group. We try to be biased. We try to spread the wealth around and, and not feel like we're just focusing on one driver, one team, or somebody that we're truly pulling for. That's a great question, though.